Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number two. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. But you can start races while the cops are after you. That makes no sense. Right, this is actually quite a long race by the looks of it. Um, this is a 3.8 mile race for two laps in Waikiki Hills. This is going to be a long race, actually. The last ones have taken two minutes for, like, one mile. So, this is going to take, like, six minutes. Easy. And this actually has a modifier, this race. Uh, so, this is, has, uh, bleh, bleh, can't speak. This has a off-road penalty mechanism. So if you drive off-road uh, for a certain amount of time, it's time-based, not distance-based as well. Um, I know TDU2, when they had the convoy, the off-road was sort of like based off of distance. So if you were going slow, you could sort of like pick a path that would get you losing so much money. But uh, yeah, you have off-road penalties based off of time. And you got to watch out for uh, going off-road. Two wheels is fine. Four wheels is classed as driving off-road in this game. Get slipstream. Oh, a little bit of lag. Don't worry, sir. The game is still fine. gonna shift down? No, apparently not. We've still only got the uh, first checkpoint so far. Or maybe the second one we might have done too. I'm not sure. No offer of penalties yet. Now that I've said that I'm gonna get one at this next corner guaranteed. Ah, this is a tough battle between me and this Mercedes. That Mercedes must be a D-class. Like, I would imagine that would be more powerful than an Alfa Romeo V6. That's not like a V8 with, like, the compressor engines that have, like, insane superchargers on them. They're, like, tiny but highly efficient superchargers. Oh! Game didn't think that was going off-road, apparently. I would have definitely said that was off-road. Okay, yeah, that is definitely off-road now. Got some uh, off-road penalty there. It doesn't add time, though, but it does cause uh, disqualification if you go off-road too much. So uh, we want to have at least half a meter before we go onto the next lap. Otherwise, we're sort of like, uh, getting a bit close. This is awesome. At the next intersection, turn right. This race obviously has a uh, huge paycheck as well if you come first. Where is that compressor? He's behind me. I'm pretty sure it is. It may not be that. It may not be that. Um, that car. Okay. I am hoping. Oh Jesus! What are you doing? That is not fair whatsoever. Ah, oh, this is an intense battle right now. No! Stop it! Not fair. This is not sportsmanship. Yeah, sportsmanship went out of the window. Took a drastic corner cut there. Hey! Haha! <laughs> served you right. <laughs> Smashed into the uh, lamp post there. We've now got ourselves a very safe lead. 
Don't make any mistakes and we'll be fine. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That shit was pretty funny. Um, I don't know if this game has like the handicap thing. Where um, if you're behind it slows the AI down and if you're ahead it speeds it up to make it more intense. I don't know if this game has that thing or not. Because, I mean, they don't look like they're catching up. So maybe it doesn't. But we never know. We might find out later. But they just go meow right past us on the start line. Look at this though. 4 minutes 55. And we're still only 4 checkpoints out of 11 done so far. He's definitely catching up. Maybe I'm just not taking the corners as aggressively as I should be. Whoa! Not ideal. Turn left. I mean, we still are much, much further ahead than... Um, we are much further ahead. In fact, I think we are safe for now. Sort of. Oh, <laughs> my guess of six minutes was uh, a little bit far off. Actually, no, we're nearly there. Uh, we might make it. No, six minutes there. It's a bit more. That was a very good race, though. That was intense. Right, and across the line. Finished in first place. 6 minutes 15.348. And the uh, car behind was a 6.19. Uh, so we had a CLS and a CLK. So CLS is apparently faster. Much faster. And we got ourselves 10,000 credits. Awesome. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Right, our next uh, race is 2.4 miles away. And uh, apparently the cops have forgotten that we exist now. I mean, I'm not complaining. No! Oh. The next turn right. What are you doing? Turn right. That is... Oh yeah, of course you're going to start chasing me now. Look at you, you're driving off the road like that. Can't tell me off. I lost control. You intentionally went off the road to try and uh, harass me. Oh, come on. you got to be joking. It's like you can do anything and the cops will be like, yeah, we need to bump it up. Bump up the difficulty for them. That's unusually long to be on that final stage there. Extending the amount of time that I have to run from the cops. Slow down, slow down, come on. And groovy. Right, we got uh, less than a mile before our next race. Oh, actually, what is this? Is this a Italian? Nah, US muscle. I was looking to see if it was a uh, Italian upgrade store, so we could uh, upgrade our Alfa Romeo, make it perform better. No, shut up. I ain't pulling over for no one. Your destination. There we go. Hillsong. Right, 2.5 miles per lap, two laps. And this is a 10,500 credit race. Let's do this. Let's see if the Alpha can do us proud.
these are not all E class. Those are some much higher difficulty cars. They've got to be. There is no excuse for there to be an Audi TT in an E class event. That's like. Speedy car. Not in his slipstream anymore. Not in anyone's slipstream anymore. Come on. We're being overtaken now. It's not at all ideal. Oh, and there's been a crash. Cars don't know how to drive. I don't know how to drive either. Okay, we're in second. Jesus, that was quick. We are trying to hold on to these positions, though. We're not. We're not gaining positions. We're defending. It's looking very good behind. They are keeping their distance. So, where have those cars gone? Oh, they're fighting each other. Perfect. That was a very good corner. But uh, we also lost a lot of time, apparently. The next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Did we gain time? I think so. I think that corner cut worked. I hope it did. I hope this car spins out at that corner again, right at the end of the straight. Because uh, that is the only way we're going to get extra speed or extra time. 6 seconds behind. One second behind. Within slipstream zone. Come on! Hey! We're in the lead, we're in the lead. No! Do not! Yes! Hey! That serves you right for trying to pit manoeuvre me. I literally saw him trying to pit me, so I tried to push his car over into the wall, and it worked. So, uh, TT, that's your own fault. I take no blame. Where is the TT? Oh, he's in fourth now, I think. Maybe even further behind. But well, I'm taking that. No, TT's in last place. <laughs> Serves you right. What is that? So that was a Chrysler SRT8. Oh yeah, because Dodge is uh, the performance of Chrysler, isn't it? So it's the same company. I didn't actually know that. Apparently it is. Um, Aston Martin DB4s. We've got a Cadillacs. Ford Mustang Quattros. Decent. 10,000 credits. I think it costs like... 100,000 for the max upgrade for a thingy. Right, we're going to do this race and then we're going to uh, take a look, see what upgrades we can do. See if we can upgrade the car. Your destination is a half a mile away. Cops aren't coming for us yet. Uh, we have a dealership on uh, this side. What is it? I don't know. Something. I think that might have been the Saturn dealership. Yeah, I think it was. Because we're at that start location where the Ford dealership was. Patchwork Quill. We got 2.1 miles for two laps. 9,000 credits. Let's go. This is going to be a decent race. I love racing in this game. It's so much fun. It's better than a lot of games nowadays. Let's go. It is time for the alpha. 
Oh no! The Alpha's taking me out! Unbelievable! Right, I'm gonna get you out of the way. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. We can obviously do that, try and catch up. We took a lot of speed through that corner. Managed to overtake one car. Can we get a second? We got a second. We're in third again. Can we get into second? Come on. The Alpha's not letting me pass. This has got to be my win. This is my walkthrough, remember, not yours. Cheeky bugger coming through. <laughs> There's a Ford Shelby up ahead. Right, that is the start finish line, so uh next lap it is. Nice. I love that you can drift around every single corner in this game. I think this is why most of the time when I race, I sort of have that style. I sort of like try to slide around corners and have a very late braking approach. Because I played this game a lot, and I think that's what it's taught me. It's just to go aggressive. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. This game teaches people to be aggressive drivers. I am not an aggressive driver, by the way. Just want to put that out there. Stay safe on the road. I can't believe though, so far, two, two or three races in a row, we've had like really close encounters with cars and ended up crashing them off the road. It's pretty impressive. Here we go, big corner cut. There we go, finish first. Two Alfa Romeos, the GT500, and the two Ford Mustangs, all destroyed with about 1.8 seconds lead. We're at 69,000 credits Your now. Itinerary is being recalculated. Awesome. Oh, the cops are still after us. Fact is, we're not given enough uh, distance to actually get away from them. Like, the next race is literally coming up now. We're going to do the. I know I said I was going to like do that one and then upgrade, but this one is so close, so I might as well do this. Slow down and enter. Let's have a look, see what race is this. This is the underpass race, so we are going to pick the normal difficulty, 1.6 miles, 2 laps. Let's go. I do love this game. I normally say that like a lot through the older games walkthroughs. I know games like uh, Need for Speed, I didn't really say that much because I didn't really like the game too much. Um, but definitely like Test Drive, Gran Turismo, I've been saying a lot that I love those games. I really do. They are the most enjoyable racing games out there. Gran Turismo 4 though, is so much, I don't know, so much smoother than the five and six it's sort of got more of a flow or a feel to it more Turn rewarded left. it's good oh we went off a little bit there we're gonna have uh, a shelby gt 500 chasing our tail now very nice let's slow down Turn come left. on go 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 no Okay. It's gone alright so far. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Make it round this corner. Thank you. And we don't currently have a time for behind, apparently. Interesting. Uh, 
And onto lap number two, 114.862 that lap took. Go, go, go. Oh, look at that. Turn left. This is really good. I'm enjoying this big time. I wonder how long it's going to take me to do this series. Because I think this is going to be a much longer series for me. And I'm going to enjoy actually spending time on the series for once. Um, because I know Colin McRae Dirt that I recorded before this, uh, that's not come probably going to come out for another month or two. But um, Colin McRae Dirt took me four days to record 16 videos of it, so it was a bit, a bit of a short game. So uh, it's going to be fun to have like a proper like project, like uh, Gran Turismo 6 was. 58 videos I've done so far of that. Crazy. Here we go, across the line, finished. And we're gonna take all that money, 77,000 credits, perfect. Right, so we are about uh, two miles away from the Italian tuna, and we are just about losing the cops now. Um, this has taken me, what? Eight miles to get here so far. And we still haven't lost the cop. There we go, Suspect. finally. Suspect escaped. Forget it, six. Suspect lost. At the next yep. Turn we got we got a mile till we get to the uh, tuna. This is cool though. This now, if you look before, this is like a completely different scenery. This entire map now looks different. It is a one-to-one -one scale of Hawaii. Um, I don't know whether these are genuinely... Shit. I don't know <laughs> if these are genuinely how the roads look. Um, or if this is just like a fake version, but it's sort of the same size. But I'm not sure. It'd probably be good to actually research that. Uh, Laurie, make your mind where you're going. Go. Reach your destination. Italian tuners. I sent her. Corsa Technologia. How much is it going to cost to uh, upgrade this to maximum level then? Because I'm probably going to max level it anyways. Welcome to the aftermarket parts shop. Here you can upgrade your current vehicle to get that extra edge over your competitors. Select the make of car and then your level of upgrade to boost your car's performance. Okay, so we can we can afford the max one. There's only twelve thousand. Um, so we first one gets us to about one five five miles an hour. Second one, uh, second one, one sixty, and the final one is one six six with a whole second of extra acceleration, uh, with a big amount of weight loss as well. Uh, so we're gonna get that one. Twelve thousand credits. That was a lot cheaper than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like some meaty, expensive upgrade, but apparently not. So uh, next up, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and do some more races. Is this a... Okay, so we got no restrictions there. But we're going to go all the way back to here and continue off where we left off. Uh, we got some quite long races down here. Yes, very long races. Okay. Um, we're going to target that. We're going to fast travel here. And then we're going to backtrack as well. Because it actually loads the event when you select it. Uh, which is sometimes a bit annoying. I wish there was like a teleport button rather than a enter event button. But it's fine. I'm not complaining. This game was my childhood, so. Oh, you can notice the difference there. That is so much quicker, the acceleration of this. Turn right. It's a lot more easier to control as well. It does feel lighter. Much lighter. So far, I haven't been caught by the cops either. Now that I've said that, I've jinxed it and I'm going to get caught by the cops. Whoop, whoop. Oh, careful. Careful. 
Please don't crash. Thank you. Thank you very much. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a van. Oh. Cops are looking for us. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Right. Let's enter the event. This one's called Slingshot, I think. I think that was. Yeah, Slingshot. 4.7 miles, one lap, which normally means a point-to-point -point race. So we're going to be ending in a different location to where we start. I think uh, lap races are normally always, like, two laps minimum. Except for one. There is one race, and that is like the Forza Goliath, um, which goes around the whole map. That's the only race that I think is one lap that's a circuit. Uh, I have just noticed that's an Aston Martin. Those are Aston Martins. Um, please give me a chance, game. I know it's no restrictions, but like... Please, just a chance. How long we can slipstream for? Guess I have loads of points there as well. Ah, <laughs> get wrecked. I don't care about being a toxic driver in this game because this is like a completely arcade game. Gran Turismo, I'm always trying to be serious, but this this is just some fun time. Just have a bit of fun. Enjoy yourself. This car's actually really quick now. That was the perfect line. That was a perfect racing line there. Right, we're Kiki now. It's a nice city, actually. Come on. We've got two more checkpoints left. We've got this one and then the... Uh... Oh, yes. Very nice. We've got this one and then the next one. Ala Moana. I do remember this section of the map on TDU console. So, I have a feeling they may be similar maps. Just this one's sort of downgraded a bit. But I am not sure if TDU2 has a copy and paste map again from uh, this, these old games. I am honestly not sure. But here we go, finish line. The V6 has done me proud against the uh, DB9's V8. And even a V12. I've got half the cylinders of that Aston Martin Vanquish and I beat it. 10,000 credits. Awesome. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Right. Oh. Can I reverse? Thank you. Next race is 0 0.8 miles away. Awesome. I don't know if these are, like, races that I've already done, though. I'm hoping not. Turn right. I would presume the game wouldn't right. be that stupid. Turn left. Your destination is a half a mile away. Cops are still looking for to watch it. See, the traffic cars just come flying out of nowhere. Just like, yeah, I'm gonna... Ah! I'm gonna destroy your day today. Thanks, great. And now the cops are after me. Woohoo. Turn right. As if my day couldn't get any worse. That has been alright, actually. <laughs> the cross. I remember this race, actually. I remember this, because I was like, oh my gosh, this race is cool. It's a plus. Yeah, I was a weird child. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no. Those cars shouldn't... That's a noble. That's got to be, like, B-class. They must be putting, like, fake... Um, driver difficulties. Like, they must be faking those cars to be E-class for me to be going against them. Otherwise, they'd be destroying me right now. 
big time. Awesome. This is really cool. Turn right. Turn left. Nice. Turn right. There are a lot of corners in this track, which uh, makes it that little bit slower than Turn normal right. ones. And uh, we're also doing three laps, so. Turn left. Not ideal. Get back on the track and we've got a car right up our backside now let's see if we can hold them off for another two laps literally this game the style of it is you have to take the corner and you have to know when you start your turn once you start you have to commit to it you can't like go back because otherwise you're gonna just attack in the other direction will um cause you to lose your line and lose so much time. Oh, and I didn't know it. But uh, I think it's like that in Gran Turismo as well, but um, you'll sort of, you won't be as dramatically destructive as this. Like this game, you ruin your line and you end up crashing into a lamppost and ruining your race. Gran Turismo is sort of like, oh no, 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 no. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Gran Turismo, you'll uh, end up completely ruining everything. Uh, no, you've got uh, runoffs. Now. Gran Turismo, you've got runoffs. This game, you will ruin everything. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> this race is a little bit uh, tedious for the uh, sat now. Turn right, turn left, turn right, turn right, turn left, turn right. It just does that over and over again. Imagine if a stat nav was a real person in your car. How annoying that would be, just saying that over and over again. For like a 24 hour endurance race. Oh my god. To be fair, if you had a 24 hour endurance race, you'd probably learn the track by now. With this track being so short. Oh, here we go. We're coming up to the final bit. Come on. Let's do this. And across the line. Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. Absolutely destroyed by six seconds. That's crazy. And 8.5 thousand credits. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.